uh, afternoon. Today I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how to use Slink, which is Sly's version of Slime Swank, right? So it lets you. Uh, oh, it's, it's how the um, how the REPL that you communicate or that you type into communicates with the list backend, um, but you can also use it to um, do remote development. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if we quickly take a look at, uh, in this case, Sly, although Slimes is basically the same, you just use Swank instead of Slink. Um, if we just look, it just says we want to use Slink Create Server, so we uh, need to load it. Um, but uh, it would be possible, like, you could, if you wanted, uh, just open the port, whatever port it is you choose for your server, you could just open that on your server but um, it's probably not a good idea so instead they recommend we use uh, tunneling so to uh, save a bit of time I've already like got mine open because I already have I have my server already running so but in this case all we're doing is we're binding localhost 4006 to the remote port 4006 basically we're just creating a tunnel um, it's nothing too complicated. So when we connect to 4006 on this machine, it's being tunneled to 4006 on the re remote machine. But uh, if we connect, obviously this is a Tmux connect session. And you can see on the left I already have one running. Um, but I will demonstrate again how to uh, set it up nice and quick. So we just use slink create server. So uh, we will do... Um, we will run SBCL. We will quick load Slink. And then we will do Slink create server port for. I don't want to use the one I'm already using. 4000. Oh. Well, we have a problem, but uh, we'll address the problem in a second. Slink um, and then don't close. 4,000, oh, don't close T, and then we're supposed to set a slink, set, set a slink, use, oh, it's a global, use dedicated, oh my word, string, oh wait, what is it, use dedicated output stream, to nil, and then, uh, now we do have a server running, however we do have a problem, and that's that I have just port forwarded onto the wrong port. So we will just quickly detach from this. Reconnect on 407, which is the one I just created. This will, I mean I couldn't access my other one, but that doesn't matter. Um, now, we open up Emacs, and we do sly connect 407, in instantly. Now let's create a temporary file. Temp I'm temp dot lisp. And here we are. I'm oh I'm a temp local file. We do defun hello and then we'll format T hello with a and then that uh, didn't work because I missed a very important part. And then we'll do Control X O and do Hello. Now that's on the local machine, right? That is on my machine. If we do uh, so, but we can if we split this, and then we'll do we will go to uh, Council Tramp. So we'll use Tramp mode to connect to the server uh, SSH. Uh, manage at I highly doubt well it's in there isn't it um manage at and then we're on port 4444 so just using there's a million different tutorials on how tramp mode works but it's really useful and it's really simple uh, we will go to temp again on that temp and we will just say we are temp we'll call I'm a 
uh, remote file dot lisp and then we'll do defun hello from oh, hello to and then we'll do format t Ooh, where's the hello from remote and then we will compile that control hello to so we have just compiled from a lot into our we just compile code into our uh, Lisp image running on a remote system from our local machine and from the machine that the uh, image is running on. So what this means you can do is, for example, my personal usage, I have a website that runs on this machine and uh, on this on this remote machine. And what I'll do is I will keep all the files on my machine and like you know sync it with GitHub or whatever, and then I can just manually. Um, I'll just have an image of the like list that's uh, dumped and have that running on the uh, foreign machine, like on on my server, and then I'll uh, just connect to it. And then if I do any make any changes on my machine, I'll just go in and I'll recompile them. I'll just change the um, change them on my local machine and then compile them into the remote REPL, which is uh, pretty sweet. Like it's a very very useful functionality. I mean extremely dynamic so uh yeah i mean that's i think that's about it we can just quickly prove that it is on the foreign machine if we do profile we'll give it a path name which and then we'll do uh home manage and then dot emacs my uh user is josh so that it wouldn't it would not work it does not work on a local session that is not connecting to the same probe file path name home josh oh home manage dot emacs oh helps when i spell profile right yeah so yeah i mean it's extremely powerful and uh i definitely would recommend it it's not like php where you, you change the file and then it reloads you literally modify it as it's as it's running you like you have the full power of lisp for for on but you're on your ro remote machine you can change your websites while people are using them it's um pretty sweet and uh i'll uh, probably do the next video on saving lisp images or particularly saving sbcl images right so catch you next time